Okay, now we're going to talk about the equilibrium constant for water and the pH scale because these two are, are interrelated with each other. Okay, so we're going to figure out how to calculate pH and what it's got to do with the auto ionization of water. So now remember, if you've got two water molecules, okay, they can turn into a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. And in the moment this hydronium ion and this hydroxide ion are in water, these two can talk to each other and go back to being two water molecules. So this is an equilibrium reaction because forward reaction, backward reaction, okay, forward, backward. Water and water goes to hydronium ion and hydroxide ion, hydronium ion and hydroxide ion go back to water and water. So one is a proton donor and one is a proton acceptor. Remember that um, this is being an amphilite, okay? If you donate a proton, you're an acid. If you accept a proton, you're a base. So water can be an acid or a base. It's an amphilite, okay? And these are the two half reactions. So you can either write it like this. If you look here, this reaction would be 2H2O goes to H3O plus plus OH minus. So sometimes scientists are lazy and they pretend there's only one water and it's split up into a proton and a hydroxide ion. Okay, so this is sometimes how it's written and sometimes it's written in full with the proton being the hydronium ion. But either way, water is either an acid or a base. It's acting as an amphilite because it can either split up and donate a proton or it can accept a proton and become a hydronium ion. Okay, so it's an amphilite. So this is an equilibrium reaction. The ionization of water is an equilibrium reaction and it's got a Kc, but we call it Kw because it's the equilibrium constant for water. Okay, so it's an ion product. So if we look at the reaction, water liquid plus water liquid goes to a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. Remember Kc is the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants, but the two reactants are liquid in, and so in Kc, we're not going to use the liquid. And so Kc is only the concentration of the hydronium ions multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxide ions like this. So this is Kw. It's just the equilibrium constant for the auto ionization of water. Okay, so Kw equals the concentration of hydronium ions multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions. So this reaction it doesn't really um, occur very readily. Water is normally water liquid when you leave it alone. There's a very low proton concentration and a very low hydroxide ion concentration. So remember when the equilibrium lies left, Kw becomes a very small number. Your equilibrium constant is very low. So the equilibrium constant for this reaction, okay, which is given as the concentration of hydronium ions times hydroxide ions. At 25 degrees, it's 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Okay, and this is given to you in the um, formula table here at 298 Kelvin, which is 25 degrees C. So this value, 1 times 10 to the negative 14, the equilibrium constant for the auto ionization of waters in your data table. And that's how it's shown in your data table. But sometimes they'll use um, protons instead of hydronium ions and you end up with Kw is the concentration of protons multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions. They're exactly the same thing, it just depends on what mood you're in. Okay, so the pH scale is based on the auto ionization of water. And so we know that if you are acidic, your pH is 1 to 6. If you are neutral, your pH is 7. And if you are basic, your pH is 8 to 14. Okay. And what this means, if you are acidic, you've got more protons than hydroxide ions. Remember, this is now happening in aqueous solution. Okay. So we've added water and water's got its own little equilibrium going on there between the hydroxide, um, the hydroxide ions and the hydronium ions. But the moment we add an acid to it, the hydronium ion concentration, it gets way higher than the hydroxide ion concentration. And therefore you get a, high, uh, a low pH. And when you're neutral, like water is neutral, the concentration of hydronium ions equals the concentration of hydroxide ions. And if you are basic, you are adding OH hydroxide ions and then there's very, very few um, 
protons in there and remember these protons are coming from the water okay so this is where the pH values come from because pH is based on the concentration of protons so in water the pH is 7 it's neutral it's not acidic or basic because the concentration of hydronium ions is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions okay because that water ionization is it's balanced and so there's an equal number of hydronium ions to hydroxide ions and we've worked out this kw value is 1 times 10 to the 14 so scientists found that in the lab and they gave it this value so in order for this um, equation to work remember that kw is equal to the concentration of hydronium ions multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions and in the lab they found this value for it the equilibrium constant for water is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 and we know water is neutral the iron concentration is equal so this is how it works kw is the concentration of hydronium ions times hydroxide ions and it's 10 to the negative 7 times 10 to the negative 7 equals 10 to the negative 14 now if you don't know how this works go back to grade 8 and learn your exponent laws yes the bases are the same so I can add the exponents and negative 7 plus another negative 7 is negative 14 but from this you can see that my concentration of hydronium ions is 10 to the negative 7 yes and this is how we get a pH of 7 out of water dun dun da so we're going to get to that but in the meanwhile you can then compare water to acids and bases so if the concentration of hydronium ions is 10 to the negative 12 look at this is what 10 to the negative 12 looks like so there's like like one tiny 12 millionth something okay and the concentration of the hydronium ions in water is 10 to the negative 7 then this has got to be a base okay this unknown 10 to the negative 12 has to be basic because it's got fewer hydronium ions there there's fewer protons and if you've got less protons you're not as acidic okay so you can use water as the basis of finding pH because you know in water always at 25 degrees this is the concentration of protons if you look at anything else at 25 degrees and the concentration is less then it has to be basic okay so the pH scale is made like this it's a simplified way of showing how does the concentration of what you're looking at those ions in solution how are they compared to water so the pH of a solution is the negative logarithm of the hydronium ion concentration of a solution so we write it as pH equals minus log H plus pH or alternatively equals pH equals minus log H3O plus okay and remember the square brackets are for concentration so why are we doing minus log of them because hello nobody likes working with negative exponents and nobody likes these tiny little numbers so numbers from 1 to 14 are much nicer than these numbers so they use the logarithmic scale so pH is minus the log of the proton concentration and that is how we find pH by comparing the proton concentration to the proton concentration of water okay and this is how um, you can reverse it if you know the pH you can find the concentration of the hydronium ions so this one is what is in your exam uh, data sheet but sometimes they say to you what's my proton concentration if this is my pH and then this is what you must put into your calculator okay so this is a good thing to remember this is data sheet this is something that you must figure out how to work your calculator with so and I'm going to stop there and if you don't know what a log is I've got some slides for what a log is but I'm not going to go through them because I'm not the maths teacher remember though pH equals minus log hydronium ion concentration so you calculate the hydronium ion concentration by going 10 to the power of the negative pH